Do you remember when your children were younger, or maybe you're still there, and they wanted to repeat the same story over and over and over and over again? Well, one of the questions I get asked, and this is this week's What the Wednesday question, is why is it that after we've had a talk about something, we're good for a few days, and then we go back to the same old behavior? So if you've been around me for any amount of time, you've heard me talk about family meetings. Well, here's the answer to that question. If you want to set a standard of any kind, it requires repetition because that's how our children learn. That's how we learn too. You've heard of something called muscle memory? Same concept. If you want your children to start doing their chores, then you need to meet with them on the regular to check in and see how it's going and adjust whatever behavior needs to be adjusted. Talk about things. Are they experiencing challenges? What do you think? Again, avoid the question why, because why is very aggressive. What do you think would help you keep on top of your chores? I see here that you haven't been checking off your list, or if you have a, a tracker list for all the things that you want them to be doing, and you can see that they've ticked off a few, but then there's been a few days where they haven't done what they were supposed to do, you can ask them about it. Hey, let's take a look at your list and let's see what's happening. And let's figure out a way to make it so that it can happen on a more regular basis. It is very important in this family that everybody contributes, if that's what you're talking about, if you're talking about chores. If you're talking about something else, again, repetition, repetition, repetition. Are you getting the picture? So check in with them regularly. If you want to adjust a behavior, we all fall back to our old behaviors. Change is difficult for everyone. And if you want to manage that change, you need to check in with them regularly. In a workplace scenario, you would have team meetings, right? To check in on a project. Why aren't we doing the same thing with our kids? And here's the bonus. When you do stuff like this, your children feel seen and heard. Remember we talked about significance and belonging. I'll be featuring that video on Friday. These are the two most important needs of any human being. Hosting them in a short meeting to talk about things and having them problem solve instead of you constantly dictating what needs to happen will help you all get back on track and make that change happen.